Before you start handling your orders in the Baselinker system, it is worth preparing general settings that will help you use and process faster, easier, and more clearly orders. To change general settings for the appearance of the order list, the order card, and how orders are processed, go to the Orders tab, and then select Settings. Here you have all the different settings of the entire system. We will focus on the Settings section and the first three options, Order Processing, Order List, and an Order Card. Order Processing refers to the moment when an order is received into Baselinker. And two things that we can change here are what actions are required when an order is received and this order is a bundle. Note, however, that this setting applies only if the bundle you have created is in the warehouse, because the question is whether this bundle in your order on the Order tab is to be broken down into individual elements or not. You have four options. We do not split the order, yes, and then the price is divided proportionally by products. Yes, and we add discount items for the difference in the price of the set and its products. And the last option is we do not break the sets, but we do it in the packing assistant. That is, on the order card. We do not see individual elements. We only have a bundle visible. But when the order is packed, the person sourcing the stock sees the individual elements of the bundle. A further setting here concerns the order confirmation and at what point of the order process we change the stock levels. You can select one of the following settings. At the time of order confirmation, after packing the order, after creating a package for the order, when issuing a sales document, and with your own manual or automatic action. The next part concerns the settings of the order list. Orders, or how this list should look like. The first thing, do you want the flags of the country to be visible for a given shipment of a given order? This will make it easier to handle orders as you will see which are domestic, which are foreign. You can choose how big you want the icon to be, big, very small, or normal. Next, what additional information do you want to be visible immediately in the list of orders? You can immediately see them from the order list. Buyer's comments, seller's comments, additional fields, or any other information. Then you can decide where you want this additional information to be seen. It can be displayed under your name. They can be displayed together in a status column and in a completely separate column. Then you decide what information about the products should be visible also immediately on the list of orders. Do you want it to be the location of the product? The EAN, SKU, or anything else? Product thumbnails. You can display a product picture in the order list. It can be visible next to the product or over it. It can be displayed only when you hover over the product. Or you can select for it not to be displayed at all. Then you need to decide whether the rows are to be colored, that is, whether one should be gray, the other white. Using color differentiation when you have to process a lot of orders on the list can make them easier to use. Then you choose the archive search mode. Whether you want to search only by all the content or only by a search fragment. Let's see what the list of orders look like after the changes are made. After going to the orders tab on the home page, select order list. So as you can see at this point, we have added country flags, thumbnails of products that are next to the product. As you can see in each product, we additionally have visible information, including EAN and SKU. Additionally, we have a separate column of information where we now display additional field and customer comments, seller's comments. Here, among other things, the stock issue confirmation may appear and the invoice number created. For example, in an ERP system, this is automatically added to the custom field. Also, we have displayed additional icons, that is changes, that are visible after those made in the orders list section. Now, let's go to the order list. The next part concerns the settings of the order card itself. Here you can also decide whether to see product thumbnails or not. Do you want to download from the store? Weight and VAT in the case of the Baselinker warehouse information is always visible. And whether you want to group custom events. Custom events, that is, buttons that you add to Baselinker. 
This topic will be discussed in another video. That may appear as a drop-down list, or all products are visible at once on the order card.